this week on another touching episode of Touched by a Ninja. Who's touching me? Come on! Who's touching me? <laughs> oh, who's touching me? City. Chapter 1 Mistaken Identity. Welcome to the big city where, unfortunately, absolutely nothing is happening today. This should make for one boring episode. Wait a minute! There's something! Sheep and Swanky strolling down the street, alone together. Boy, that Swanky must be getting pretty good at eluding her owner, Lady Richington! Junko, Junko, Junko! Who's my beautiful Swankykins? Ooh, cold nose! That's a healthy puppy! Yes! Thanks to Swanky's ice-carving ability, she and Sheep can savor their precious moments together. What's this? Has Sheep lost that lovin' feeling? Nah, he's spotted a puppy shivering in the cold. <laughs> oh, Swanky is touched by this tender scene. She's also touched by a ninja. Holy free holies! There's no alarm in my script! Luckily, I'm an ad-lib smart guy. Uh, genius! Jeepers! It's the time for Second National Federated Bank of the Big City! And it's... it's... I sure wish I knew what was going on! We interrupt sheep in the big city to let the narrator know what's going on! A mysterious sheep-like creature has just robbed the Tide for Second National Federated Bank of the Big City of 20 million dollars. In an unrelated story, today a million needy people each got 20 dollars for a grand total of 20 million dollars. Holy smokes! What a humdinger of a mystery! A mysterious sheep-like creature robbing the bank? It's weird, huh, sheep? Bah. Wait a second! You're a sheep-like creature! <laughs> you most probably robbed my bank! You bad, bad sheep-like creature! Oh, look! The sheep-like creature is robbing my woman cash! You can run, sheep, but you can't hide. Well, you can hide also, but not... Oh, man, I need a script. <coughs> Holy kafoni! Another alarm? What's this bird coming to? New top story on top of the last top story. The Foods Are Who We Are supermarket has just been robbed by a mysterious sheep-like creature. In an unrelated story, the big city's hungry suddenly feel full of food. Excuse me. Yes, indeedy doody deedy doo. It's been robbed of almost everything. The steaks, the breads, the cheese-flavored snacks. The more defenseless cheese-flavored snacks. Oh, sheep, what do you have to say for yourself? Bah. That's always your excuse. Ah. You most probably robbed my store. You terrible, terrible sheep-like creature. In an epic attempt, the angry 
grocer tries to bring sheep to justice. What do you mean, try? You realize sheep is escaping. Uh, what? Ah! And so, the very guilty sheep guiltily flies through the air and into the home of Lady Richington. Why, Swanky, you look so depressed. Oh, let's watch the news. That should perk you right up. Hank Ackerman here, coincidentally recapping today's top headlines at this very moment. The tide for Second National Federated Bank of the Big City was robbed today by a mysterious sheep-like creature. Bank Schmank. The foods are who we are. Supermarket was robbed by a mysterious sheep-like creature. Supermarket schmooper my Oh, who cares? And this just in, a piece of paper that says Lady Richington's entire mansion has been robbed by a mysterious sheep-like creature. No! Ah! Sheep! That horrible sheep has just stolen my house! What? Ah! Now you stay right there and don't change the channel. Ah! Hey! I told you to stay still! I told you not to drink the uh, uh, uh. Time to call in the professionals! You have reached the secret military organization's secret headquarters. We will be closed for the next two weeks for an anger management seminar. This message will self-destruct after the beep. Ah! Well, I'll just have to use the police. Ah! There he is, boys. Ah! Man, oh man! That sure is a clever sheep! Never mind. like a sheep in a tree, if that's an expression. Will he be brought to justice and spend the rest of his life behind bars? Find out the bone-chilling answers to these spine-tingling questions in Chapter 2. Take the mutton and run! Are you in the finding yourself getting angry like this? Oh, darn. If so, you are needing to attending the Angry Scientist Anger Management Program, where you can be managing your anger like this. Now, isn't that being a better angry? So much better managed and so much more bounciness. Here is the someone now to telling you about my program. Um... Ever since I tried the Angry Scientist's Anger Management Program, I have been mad. Really mad. Angry! You are being angry! I am teaching in the management of anger, not a meddleness! You can't get out! Hey! You can't kick me out! That makes me angry! You are! You see, another satisfaction ah! customization. But don't be taking my word for it. Listen to this recently graduated type personage. I used to be a sweet little old lady. Now I kick people in the shins. <laughs> you cannot be faking resultings like this. Gotcha. No, no. Oh, ah. The Angry Scientist Anger Management. Our prices alone will have you fuming. When last we left Sheep, he was trapped in a tree with no possible way to escape. Yeah, except that one. Aww. Chapter 2. Take the mutton and run. And so, life in the big city continues. Sort of. Wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me, or are they telling me the truth? Is that the sheep-like creature? Holy mother-in-law of Pearl, it's... Dum-dum-dum. Sheep? 
caught in the act. You don't need to live a life of crime, what with your own TV show and all. <laughs> Wait a second. You're just searching for clues to see who done it? Oh, sheep, I knew it wasn't you all along. Earlier today, Ben Plotz, local narrator, was quoting, I think the sheep's guilty, guilty, guilty. I've now stopped quoting. Ah, uh, anyway. Sheep searches here and there, to and fro, hither and yon. Oh, look, there's yon. Wowza! Sheep's sharp detective skills have led him to what looks like a sheep-like creature hiding in the oxymoron salon. It's dum dum dum, <gasps> Lady Richington. <gasps> police! Police! Sheep thief! <laughs> I would have hit him with my stainless steel wig, but I just had it buffed. Big City Under Sheepy Siege The I Missed It News continues its non-stop coverage of this important news event. How do you know it's important? Check out this spinny logo thing. Cool, huh? 3D. Oh, uh, by the way, no new news to report. Meanwhile, Sheep's detective work has paid off. He deduced the true identity of the thief. And it's dum dum dum! Ah! The butler? I didn't do it. I was serving tea on the veranda. It was dum dum dum! Ah! The gardener? Hey, no way. I was watering the daffodils. It was dum dum dum! The maid? You gotta be kidding me! I was busy scrubbing the toilet! It was dum dum dum! Ah! The butler? I didn't do it! I was serving tea on the veranda! It was dum dum dum! Ah! This really is dum dum dum! There he is, boys! <laughs> I really was in the garden, you know. What kind of sheep-like animal are we dealing with here? Here's our expert, Mr. ICU2. Thanks, Hank. I've got some video surveillance footage that reveals the identity of the perspirator, uh, perpetrator. Okay, roll the tape. Now, please put the tape in the machine and press play. As you can clearly see, this very definitely is a sheep. He's about 45 feet tall and has huge fangs. Or it could be a football, but it definitely has huge fangs. How long have you been an expert? How long you got? What? Has Sheep given up his search for the culprit to pursue amateur photography? Hold the phone! Sheep's captured the image of the mysterious sheep-like creature on film. And all he needs to do is blow up the picture! <laughs> Not that way! Thank you. Isn't this exciting? Sheep is about to discover the true identity of the sheep-like creature and clear his tarnished name. It's... Swanky! There he is, boys. Look out, Sheep! It's John Law! And Jim Law, Joe Law, and Little Tito Law, too. Ooh, this is a good one. I look fat. Don't be silly. You look fine. Okay, who wants copies? Me. I do. I'd like some, please. That was a good one. Poor sheep, tired after that exhausting yet exciting chase. Oh, if he could only rest his weary wool. Hey, look! A soft, comfy bed in the middle of the street. <laughs> It was a trap! Poor sheep! Will he spend the rest of his life imprisoned in a prison of imprisonment? Find out in the soul-stirring, grandiose finale, Chapter 3! It wasn't me, was it you? And now, Sheep in the Big City presents the Sombrero Brothers and their latest highly dangerous attraction, the Man-Eating Cheese. 
Prepare yourself for a feat so odd, so freakishly bizarre, that no hyperbole can contain it. Prepare yourself for... The Man Eating Cheese. That's your man-eating cheese? I don't believe it! Unbelievable! Hey, what are you doing? Why, I'm covering your carpet with mud and volcanic ash, silly! But my carpet's brand new! <laughs> I know. But do you have a paper towel with enough absorbency to clean up a mess like that? Of course not! That was a bucket of mud and ash! Well, neither do I. But I do have extra mint gum! Gum? But what about my carpet? Yes, extra mint gum. See the sparkly sparkles sparkling? That's the extra mint. You ruined my expensive carpet. And my vacuum cleaner. Hey, um, mm, mm, that's mint deliciousness. Extra mint deliciousness, even. I still have 12 payments on this. Extra mint gum. So much extra mint, it tastes like extra mint. I'm moving to another cartoon. When last we left Sheep, he was apprehended by the police, who think he's the mysterious sheep-like creature terrorizing the big city. Will he do hard time? Or did he already escape with the help of some silly plot device? One, I am not going to help him. And two, I am not silly. I am whimsical. Chapter 3. It wasn't me, was it you? I've just been told by an unnamed source that police have taken the sheep-like creature into custody. Isn't that what you told me, Morty? Shh, I'm supposed to be unnamed. With a name like Morty, no wonder! My, my unnamed source, Morty, also tells me the sheep's trial begins today. In an unrelated story, the sheep's trial begins today. Because our cameras are banned from the court, here now an artist's impression of the trial. Too bad he's an abstract artist. Let's go in the courtroom anyway. Don't be worried, Mr. Sheep. Try to smile. You'll be found guilty in a completely fair trial. Sorry I don't mean to tease. Your opening statement, if you please. <laughs> guilty! Guilty! Guards, throw that guilty guy in the guilty slammer! But first, watch me dance! Oh, I'm dancing! Oh, oh, oh I'm dancing! I'm still dancing! Look at my moves! Sheep's going to spend his life behind bars, doomed to a life in prison, served awful food, forced to wear stripy clothing, and that hat, what's the deal with that? What's that hat? It's the sheep-like creature! Bah? Swanky? Bah. <laughs> Hey, don't be afraid, little fella. We just want to thank you for all you've done for us. What with all the money you gave us so we wouldn't be poor, and all the food you gave us so we wouldn't be hungry, and all of the monogram towels you gave us so we wouldn't be soggy, considering how poor, hungry, and soggy we was before, you're a real wonderful animal guy. Oh, I get it! Swanky stole from the rich and gave to the poor, and she did it dressed as sheep, so he'd be the hero! Weird, huh? It's an inspiration to us all, except for the stealing part. Will sheep follow in Swanky's hoofsteps, or will he steal from the middle class to give to the middle class? Find out next time on another plot-warpingly eccentric episode of Sheep in the Big City! <laughs> oh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the epitome of wit and wisdom, the Ranting Swede. I would like to dedicate today's rant to Timmy McPherson. I tell you someone who really pan fries my veal cutlet, that Timmy McPherson. Oh, not the one you're thinking of. The other one. The annoying one. I was coming into the room. Do, 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 do. I'm Timmy. You're not Timmy. I'm Timmy. Do, 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 do. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Timmy, so-called McPherson. You make me want to run. I thank you, and America thanks you. Justin, the sheep has escaped from prison. However, local authorities report they have no plans to look for him because they figure he's learned his lesson and won't do it again. In a related story, sequined t-shirts are back in style this year. They sure are, baby! Ha! Oh, yeah! <laughs>